Hello guys and welcome back, today, I will show you how you can optimize your PC and make it run smoother for 3D programs. This video topic brought to my attention lately by you, and I think quite a number of people might face this problem, even I consider myself a low-end PC user. For most of the points we will mention today, is to make your machine work better in general, and there will be a couple of points in the end especially for Blender. So the first one we have is the power mode settings, and how we can take full advantage of the machine we're using. To do that, we need to add a code in the CMD window and create the ultimate power mode, so from the start button, look for CMD and open it. We will write this code and hit enter, so you need to copy it from the description box and just paste it. Once you do that, it will give you the ultimate performance written in the second line, and you can after that close the CMD command window. To enable this new mode, we need to open the battery power options, and if you can't see it by now, you just need to look inside the additional power plans. And here it is, as it says, this will make your PC run on its full capacity all the time, so you can enable it once you need to work on a project. You also need to pay attention to the power plug, which you need it to be connected all the time. Working on battery alone can make your PC run with less than 100% capacity and that for sure will result in slower or even lag performance, so keep your PC cable plug in while you're working. Temporary and cache files, can make any PC a potato machine once they stack, so you need to make it as a habit to delete them every once in a while, and for a low end PC, this process can become weekly, so how we can clean the PC. You can have a third party program to clean your mess, which is not recommended since you are here because your PC is running slow, so adding an extra process will make things worse, the easiest way here is to open the temporary files in the C driver, and just delete them, so to do that, you need to open the run window, you do that by hitting the windows and the R keys, and you type the following commands, first one is temp, short for temporary and I do clean this folder regularly so it might look empty now, but leave it for like 2 weeks and this will eat your device, so select them more and shift delete them. Once you done with the first folder, you need to open the run window again, and type the next command. Once we done with the temporary files, we can go to the start menu, and look for the desk cleanup tool, with this one, we select the main driver, the C driver in most cases, and hit open, then we check all the category on this list and hit delete files, this way we clean all the remaining temporary files and the old windows updates on the device. Another thing you need to pay attention to is the background running apps, 
and often you would have two or three of those unwanted apps always running in the background, and that for sure will make your PC slower, so to fix this, you need to shut them down, so first with the bottom bar area, you can see all the apps you're using in the moment, and turn off the ones you don't need. You also need to open the task manager, and go through the list of programs running in the background, leave the ones with the system 32 tag unless you know what they do, anything else you don't need, just hit end process on them. Your Windows theme can play a major role in making your PC run slower, and that's because it might have an animated background, or extra option around, so bottom line, you need to make it as simple as possible. Now for me, I'm using Windows 10 so I don't have the best option which is the classic theme mode, this one need to be installed for Windows 10, however, you probably operating on Windows 7, and the settings will look like this to you. So try to put it on the classic mode, this will make your device run much smoother. Now for the blender part, we will start by the obvious and still an important point, which is using an old blender version to keep it workable on your device, and that's because the new ones have all kind of updates and extra default add-ons that comes with blender nowadays. So to download a previous version of Blender, you need to visit the main sites, and under the download section, scroll all the way down until you see those options in the bottom, and here you have the previous versions of Blender, once you open all versions, you can select the one fits you, then download it for the Windows version you have. Next point we can do to make Blender run smoother is to set it on high priority, and that will improve your work on the program, so to do that, once Blender is running, you open the task manager, and in the details tab, select Blender and put it on high priority option. Last but not least is optimizing your add-ons, so usually in Blender, once we need an add-on, we download it, install it, or even if it's in the default list, we enable it and leave it on all the time, however, if you have a low-end PC, you need to pay attention to this point, too much add-ons can make Blender lag, or even crash, and for sure will make it run slower, so, turn them off, and delete the ones you don't need, and keep only the ones you use for your project, and that's it, hope this video been useful to you guys, and as always, stay sharp, goodbye.